Okay, should be going live. All right, let me just set up comments on my phone here. Hi friends, this is Lindsay for So Fonty. Happy Thursday. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, today's a special day. Can you guess what it is? If you guessed that it is Throwback Thursday, then you are correct, correct because um, today is the day, the one day out of the month that we bring back one of our bundles. So what that means is for 24 hours, um, you have access to one of more, our more popular bundles. So this one's the dollar font bundle. Um, no wonder it was popular because um, fonts for a dollar? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, so 20 fonts, $20. I mean, normally one font is like $20. So it's really an awesome deal. Um, and there's lots and lots of things that you can do um, with fonts. I mean, you name it, anything you can print out, invitations, cards, uh, posters, um, you could use them for your art journal or scrapbooking pages, um, and then customize just about anything um, with your adhesive vinyl or your heat transfer vinyl, which um, we'll be doing today. So um, give me just a second. I'm going to set up comments here. Um, if you are here, can you say hi and let me know that you can hear me? Um, because I just want to make sure that this is set up correctly and then I want to put comments on my phone because for some reason my computer is not can you guess what it is? ah that's me okay so and let me can. turn that off all right so I should be able to see comments on my phone um, so if you have questions of course let us know um, and again so I've got everything listed um, in the uh, description um, so you can check out the dollar fonts bundle. Remember, it's only here until uh, midnight tonight, um, well, 11.59 Eastern time. Um, and then, of course, don't forget, any bundle that you buy in August gives you a chance to win a Cameo 4. Uh, so that's super exciting. Um, and then, of course, if you um, buy more than one bundle, um, you get more than one entry. So, I mean, it's awesome, right? Um, anyway, um, I'm going to um, actually switch over to the um, computer view so you can see um, the font that I'm going to be using. We're making a jersey. I mean, it's like a faux jersey. It's not really like for an actual sport or anything. <laughs> um, gone are the days that I'm on sports teams. But, uh, uh, you know, this just goes to show that you can customize, you know, just about anything. Um, when you have, you know, a beautiful font. Um, so this is called the JP Sport Stitch font. Um, so let me go ahead and switch over our camera view here so that I can show you what we're working with. Okay, so let's go to Scoring display, there we go. All right, so you should be able to see my screen. And let's actually show you what we're actually working with. So I made this um, design here um, using the font JP Sports Stitch. And um, it's really easy, it was really easy to do. Um, but you can see that I kind of curved the text here um, and then I also deleted the stitching um, out of here. So um, the font itself comes with this, um, this gorgeous stitching in it. And then um, if you want to customize it even further, then um, I can show you how you can delete that as well. Um, so I'm using Silhouette Studio, um, and you can too. Um, the, the software is free to download. Um, and, uh, but I've also posted a link in the description for um, those of you who use Cricut Design Space and how to curve text, um, which looks a lot easier, <laughs> but it's actually not, not too bad in here. Um, so I'm just gonna open up a new workspace and select my font, this sports stitch, and type out what I want. So I want the back of my glue, Back of my jersey to say glitter sparkle. <laughs> oh yeah. And I like to just change the font or um, change the outline color from red to 
black. Um, you can fill it in if you want. Um, actually, you know, let's keep it clear so that you can see when I zoom in, you have that stitching. Isn't that cute? Isn't that a cute little like accent? Um, and then what we want to do is um, curve it a little bit. So for Silhouette Studio, what you do is you go into your drawing tools and select the circle shape and you can just draw a circle or an oval. And let's just do it as big as the page itself. Um, and then um, you'll want to go back to your text and um, then right now it's not it, you can move it but it's not editable as the text so what you have to do is double click on it and you can see the cursor there um, lets you know that um, now you know you can ed actually edit the text and so when you're in this mode here um, you click this uh, four-way arrow and you click and drag it to the circle and it'll snap on oops there it goes snap onto the circle there it goes see and um, then you know you can drag it along the circle or the oval here when you let go um, you have this slider right here to um, you know space it out or bring it in a little bit farther and then when you click off of the text um, and then you click back on it, you can just like click it and um, move it around. You click on it, you can resize it. It's going to resize that circle as well. But then when you're ready to cut it out or print it out, then to get rid of that circle, um, just click on the text, just one click. And then you'll go to the weld option and you'll click weld. And so this now essentially turns the font into shapes. Um, so it's no longer editable as, um, you know, with a keyboard to change the letters that way. Um, but, and it separates, you know, them all into their individual letters. Um, but it separates the circle there. So you can go ahead and delete that. Then, um, if you want to further customize the text, um, what you can do is, and what I did is because I, I'm cutting uh, these letters out of HTV, and they're going to be about, you know, look at this is on, this is only like an inch tall, not even an inch. Um, so I thought the stitching, you know, would just be a pain to weed. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I don't know, I just, I wanted to experiment with how it looked taking it out, and so it's easy to do that. Um, you're going to right click on it, on the letter, after you've welded it, um, click release compound path, and now it's going to release all those individual shapes right in there. And if you click off of it, that's fine. Um, you can just go ahead and select everything. Don't select this other letter though, which is um, fine if you do. Just press um, press and hold shift on the keyboard and then click on the letter. Um, so that's going to deselect it. And then um, click on the outside line here of the letter. And so that is going to deselect this outside line, which we want to keep. And then we can click delete on our keyboard and it's going to delete all those little um, stitch marks in there. And if you use that trick on a letter that's got a hole in it, um, you'll do the same exact thing. You'll click and then right click on the letter, release compound path, shift, hold shift on the keyboard, click the outside line and you need to click the line of the um, 
the, sh the sh um, shape in the middle and then collect, um, delete on your keyboard. Um, and then um, these shapes are not going to be connected, so you'll just want to select both of those, right click and make a compound path. Um, so that's how I did um, my jersey here, um, but I um, decided to do two different lines. And to do that, I'm just going to delete all of this. You actually need to, when you draw your circle or your oval, whatever you want to draw, um, when you type out the text, you have to type the letters in different text boxes. So if I did glitter and then I press enter on the keyboard to start a new line and I do sparkle, um, when I click and hold this um, four right arrow here and drag it to my circle or my oval, um, it's going to put out all the text in one line, which is not what I wanted. So I'm going to just click and I, I'm still, you know, have that um, circle clicked and held with my mouse, so I'm just going to bring that over to the side. I'm going to delete sparkle, and I'm going to put glitter, oops, double click on it so I have access to edit it, and I'll put glitter on this line here. And then what I like to do, I mean there's lots of different ways that you could do this same thing, is I highlight everything, um, right click, copy. Um, right click on another part and then click paste and then now what I can do is I can move this word glitter Oops, it's kind of bouncing around there um, underneath the word and then I can double click into it and I can change it to whatever I want and then I have two lines here and then you know you can fiddle around with it Use your, you know, centering tools to get everything all nice and lined up, and adjust it um, oops, to your liking until you have um, a design that you really like. So um, I also added a an outline too. Um, oh, don't forget if you're cutting with um, HTV, you'll want to mirror the design. So you know, on here, right click. On the design flip um, horizontally um, but um, I um, did a little offset so um, I've already cut this part uh, the white out of white glitter <laughs> HTV of course <laughs> um, and so now I'm gonna cut this part here um, so let's go ahead and put that on our mat and actually, I am not cutting with a mat, so let's go to cutting mat none, and then let's make our media size bigger. There we go. I like the mat um, up and down. Actually, you know what? That's I guess that's fine like that. It's, oh, actually, it might not fit. Oh, it barely fits. I'm gonna rotate it. There we go. Okay. All right. So then, um, let's go ahead and go back to the camera view. Um. So, so we've got my webcam here. Hello. Um, so I'll tilt you down to, uh, sorry, we're going on a wild ride here. <laughs> a little tour at the corner of my craft room. I'm going to tilt this down here so you can see my cameo and my um, HTV. There we go. That should be pretty good. Um, so let me go ahead and check comments because I don't know why I'm not seeing them. It's just, it's kind of frustrating. Maybe it's me. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, we've got my, oh, hi Mike. Hi Blaine. 
Hi, Yvette. Um, dollar fonts. Um, we that is our Throwback Thursday bundle. Um, so I have that linked in the um, description of the video. It's our um, bundle that we bring back once a month. We bring back a popular bundle, and um, this month it is our dollar font. So twenty fonts for twenty dollars. Um, and what a steal. I mean, normally a font is like $20 itself. So, um, you can, um, check out that link in the description. Make sure it's there. It should be there. Yeah, it is. Okay. Perfect. Um, um, and then I, I accidentally bought some HTV that was 15 inches wide. And since I don't have um, a 15 inch machine, um, I need to cut it down. So um, if you make that same mistake, which I hope you don't, um, then I just need to use a straight edge and my craft knife to cut it down to 12 inches so it'll fit into my machine. Okay, oops, there we go. All right, so I have my, now it's um, 12 inches this way and it'll fit into here. I'm gonna go ahead and move that in so it will hold the material and then I am going to send to cut. So we are using HTV smooth but I always up the force. And then it should do its thing. All right, I'm going to, let me just make sure. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's going. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, here's what I've already cut out and weeded. So you can see the font itself comes with that stitching. This is the sports um, stitched font. Um, and so, yeah, I um, cut this out of glitter HTV and then weeded out all those little, all the little stitching parts. But that's going to look super cute. Um, and then, oh shoot, let me turn on my feet press. Alright, so I got my feet press on. Um, I've also cut out the test glitter particle. <laughs> I accidentally cut off the the S when I was trimming the HDV, so just be careful of that because I had to recut um, the S. And then the shirt that we're using is this raglan shirt, um, which I have linked in the description, and then I'm going to be putting it on the back like a jersey, so I can show you some tips on how to position um, um, shirts or, you know, HTV on the back. So, um, let's go ahead and test weed it. You know, I always do my test weed which means I just leave the material in, the, either the material or the mat, in the machine, and I go and I try and weed an area, and if it comes up nice and easy, just like that, then yeah, that's exactly how I want it to weed. So, I'm going to 
take that out. And I've got a little excess HTV on the bottom here that I'm going to trim off. And I think I mentioned this last time, I like to use a paper trimmer to trim it. Um, just be careful not to cut off any of the actual design because that's what I did with the, um, that's what I did with the glitter HTV and I had to recut. <laughs> um, I had to recut, um, this is a little too wide for the, actually it should fit. I did that with, um, the glitter HTV and I had to recut the S, which you know, what happens. And then I am going to put this HTV onto an old mat that's still a little bit sticky, but this will help me to do some weeding. Um, so do we have any, uh, let me refresh my screen here so I can see if we have any comments and uh, questions or anything. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take out the middle here. My heat press is warming up. And um, good news, I have a link to this heat press. Um, the one that I use is the StarCraft um, 15 by 15 inch clamshell. And they're on pre-order now from Swing. Um, and they're expected to ship in late, I think uh, in late August, at the end of August. Um, so you can pre-order it now so that when they get it in, they will ship it to you as soon as they get in. And um, what I love about it my press particularly is how big it is it's a 15 by 15 inch um, so that means I can press this design all in one all in one um, press um, actually it this design measures slightly less than 12 by 12 but actually the width I think is 10. So even if you have a if you had 9 by 12, um, you wouldn't be able to fit the whole thing in. Um, so with bigger designs, you know, obviously it's more convenient to be able to press it all. Um, oops, I want to weed out all the centers first. always um, you know more convenient to be able to press it all in one go um, but if you don't have a 15 inch press um, you can you know obviously do it in sections that would work and the temperature of my press um, since this here um, what I'm weeding is Caesar easy weed um, which normally presses at a temperature of three um, but we're also using glitter HCV, which normally presses at a temperature of 320. Um, so I've just set my press somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I have it set at um, 312. And so what we're going to do is press this bottom layer first. This is um, Silver Caesar Easy Weed HTV. And then we will layer the glitter over it. So um, we are creating a layered design. So even more customization options when you've got um, a beautiful font to work with. Um, this is the JP sport stitched font um, from the dollar fonts throwback Thursday special bundle back for today only um, so check check it out um, I mean it's 
really an awesome deal. And there's some really cute fonts in there. There's lots you can do. Especially customizing things with people's names, which is, people always love that. And when you have like a really cute, you know, shirt or bag or like mug or tumbler or something and someone asks you like, hey, where did you get that? You can say, hey, I made it. And, you know, have that sense of pride. <laughs> or better yet, uh, one of your customers gets asked, hey, where did you get that t-shirt? <laughs> and then their customer says, oh, it's from it's from so-and-so, and then they pass on your information, and you just um, maybe made another sale. So that is awesome. Um, because these fonts are all commercial use, which means you can make items with these fonts and sell them on your Etsy store or, um, you know, I guess craft fairs might not be happening now, but, um, you know, Facebook Marketplace or, you know, wherever you can, you know, if you've got your own website. Okay, there we go. Glitter Sparkle. And so we are ready to do some pressing. So let's go ahead and swing you over to, hold on folks, we're going on a wild ride, to the heat press. So this is my Starcraft. I love her. She's awesome. And I have her set. Oh, she's still warming up, so she's almost there. Um, but um, I've got all my pieces here. So this is the first layer that we're going to press first. And I've got my other layers here. And what I want to do is actually do a quick pre-press. Um, so I can remove any um, excess moisture or anything that might be in in the shirt so that I can get the best press I possibly can. All right, let's move that out. That looks good. And I'll just do like a five second press since it's still at 286. It's not quite at 312 yet. And then um, I do want some help in finding the center. So I'm going to take the seams up at the top here and fold them together so that I can fold the shirt in half and press it in half so that I'll have a line down the center and that'll help me with aligning um, aligning the um, actual HTV straight. So let's actually make sure that it's in the center. And then I'll just do a two second press. Pull it up. And I should have, it might not pick up on camera, oops, but there is a line, I can see a line um, where Sorry, it's a weird camera angle. Um, but I can see a line down the center. So that will work really well. And then as far as placement, I was kind of fiddling around with like how far down on the actual jersey do I want to go. And I thought that about four inches from the collar, so four inches down from there, looked pretty good. Um, this is just a sewing gauge, um, and you can measure it. So I'll do the top of the design right there. And I'm going to arrange it so that this um, seam from the collar is actually off of the press. 
because I don't want that interfering with the press itself. It could create some unevenness, which I don't want. You want even pressure. Um, so, ooh, I'm gonna measure that from the top there. All right, so I want the top, so I want the top of the design to be right about there. And then, you know what I should have done? Actually, the middle is the middle of, the, of these two zeros. So, that's how I'll know. so <laughs> I won't be able to see it. Other people will though, so I do want it straight. Okay, and then I'm going to, there's those seams there, which kind of worries me. So maybe what I'll do is I'll pull this up a little bit more. I think that should be okay. I don't know if I'll need a pressing pillow. Maybe I'll put one underneath just in case. Do we have any cautious crafters out there? <laughs> Actually, I don't think this is going to be big enough. That is definitely me. Well, I mean, especially when it comes to stuff like this, because I want to make sure I get a nice, a nice good press. All right, that should be good. Okay, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. All right, so one or two seconds. Pick it up and peel it off, just like so. Oops, I don't know what happened there. There's like a little piece of something there. For some reason, I don't know what that is. A piece of fuzz or something that got stuck. So definitely ch check your carrier sheets before pressing because if there's something stuck underneath, There's something stuck underneath the um, the HTV, then yeah, it's going to stick to the um, okay, so then here we want to get this lined up. be easier if I cut it and did them separately. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the wording first. do the words first so I can get it aligned perfectly. See this is um, what happens if you do an outline. <laughs> um, you might have um, the task of then aligning it but there okay there we go that looks good. 
Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up this part. So that's exposed HDV. I do not want that. And I'm going to press it for two seconds. And lift it up. And pull off this part. Lovely. Okay, then I'm going to put that S on. Oops, let me check comments because there might be some comments here. Put that S on there. Oh, the Judy. Hi, Judy. Thanks for watching. Um, so the press is from Swing Design. Um, I should have a link in the description um, for the pre-orders. They're um, expected to ship... Um, later this month, this is the StarCraft, um, 15 by 15 clam shell heat press, and I really like it. I like, what I like so much about it is that it's so big. I don't, I might, I don't know why this isn't lining up the way I thought it was going to line up. I mean, I don't see why there would be a difference in the size, but they should be the same letter. Okay, there we go. There's that, and then there is that. Thank you for watching, you know, for hanging in there. Because if you're like me, then you know that you want to line it up. And then I'm going to press that, or cover it, because it's exposed to HDB. And then I'm going to press that for another two seconds. Then lift off the carrier sheet. And then I'm going to press it for 10 seconds. This is the final press. And I... I'm going to up my pressure just a little bit because Glitter HGV likes pressure. Um, that's the key to a good press. And pick that up. And there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think it turned out pretty cute. It is... Lady Glitter Sparkle coming in at number double zero. <laughs> um, so I've got that on the back of the shirt here. I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with it. And um, yeah, I'm using the uh, JP Stitched Font from the, there we go, that looks good. Um, <laughs> from the, uh, um, today only dollar fonts bundle. So um, you can check that out um, in the description of the video. And um, you know, of course, when you um, you know, and when you buy a bundle from the during the month of August, you get entered in to win the Cameo Four. Um, and then the heat press is linked um, in the description as well as as, as well as some other um, tutorials on. Um, um, how to like if you need help bulk importing and um, and downloading fonts as well. So um, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad that you're here today. I'm really happy with how my shirt turned out, and uh, I'm ready to to go fight win for my team. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good rest of your day and stay safe, you guys. Bye.